Over the last few months, Arctic jumped on top of the RGB hype train and started to knock everybody out. They released a really silent RGB fan, a really powerful RGB fan. And now the genius engineers did some quick math and performed something nobody expected. A liquid freezer ARGB. So this is Arctic's newest addition to the Liquid Freezer lineup, the Liquid Freezer 2 360 ARGB. In total there are four different variants of this cooler, a 240 or 360 size, each of which comes in RGB or ARGB versions. But to get one thing straight from the beginning, there is very little to no change at all except for the fan swap. The compatibility remains exactly the same, the installation method is exactly the same. There even is the exact same VRM cooler on here. The only thing that is missing is the QR shaped smartphone manual. But hey, they print it now on the box. So if you want to know more about compatibility, installation method and that VRM fan, just have a look at the Liquid Freezer 120 review. It's 100% the same thing, they just swapped out the fans and the box. Speaking of which, except for the fans, the box probably got the most attention. A bit bigger text, a complete spec sheet on the side, and the biggest rainbow paint job you can imagine so that every unicorn in the world knows Arctic is coming for them. And can we just notice for a second that Arctic specifically mentions that the radiator is black, even though every existing liquid freezer was already black? Is something else in coming? So when I got this I didn't plan to do the usual all-in-one review, I would just keep repeating myself and nobody wants that. Go watch the 120 review first. What I actually wanted to do is find out if Arctic fell for the same trap that a lot of other companies have. Nobody cares how it performs, it got RGB. But before we get to that, let's address all the things that Arctic did actually change compared to a normal look at Frida 360. A very small and subtle yet potentially powerful change is the switch from their MX4 to the MX5 thermal compound. In no way do I have the machinery to actually test the difference of these, but let's just believe Fully Silent PC's review in which he found that there can be half of a degree difference even though the thermal paste is thicker, so I, I still guess an upgrade. Another subtle but welcome change is that Arctic squeezed another cable into the tubes. Instead of just forwarding the PVM signal, these new RGB or ARGB versions also come with the appropriate cable right next to the water block. Which is something that basically no manufacturer does, yet it is the most annoying point about an all-in-one. Just like the PVM cable, this new RGB wire is coming out of the radiator where it is then pre-attached to the fans. And now we are at the actual big change of this cooler, the included ARGB fans. So these are the Arctic P12 PVM 0dB ARGB and, and a bunch of other words. We already did a review of these here on the channel, which you can go and watch here. And in the review we found that these are extremely quiet fans and that they can deliver on the RGB promise, but they are slightly worse in, in performance than the original P12, which Arctic did slap on the original Liquid Freezer. And this got me thinking if they did not in fact favor RGB over cooling performance. Don't get me wrong, I love these P12 ARGBs and the fact that I breathe louder than they spin, but comparing both spec sheets right next to each other reveals that they went with a fan with quite the reduction in static pressure, something that's quite important for radiators, especially because Arctic always uses those thick boy racks. But can we just admire for a second that they actually cared for my mental health and semi-permanently connected every RGB plug with some heat shrinking tubes? I, I hate these plugs. Okay, so before I could say yay or nay, I needed a baseline, so I did the unbelievable and boom, original liquid freezer. Then I placed them on my very janky test bench and hit the 3700X with all I've got. In this setup, a original liquid freezer managed to keep the 3700X at 70 degrees C, 
one degree behind the Fantex Glacier 1. Not a very surprising result. Yes, the liquid freezer has a really thick radiator, but let me just remind you how loud the Glacier 1 fans can be under full load. So far so good, 70 degrees C is a pretty good result. Now we are left with the question if Arctic did in fact compromise cooling for some fancy schmancy RGB. With the P12 ARGB fans on there, the liquid freezer in its ARGB version kept the 3700X at 71 degrees C. I, I did not expect that. As I found out in several other reviews, the produced airflow and static pressure of a given fan speed does not necessarily mean that the fan will perform better or worse. The actual fan speed still seems to have an impact. I, until now I don't know why if the produced numbers are smaller, but it happened before. And this seems to be such a case. Sure, the specs are suggesting otherwise, but the P12 ARGBs on top of the liquid freezer are really close to the original thing. And one degree could still be within the margin of error. So no, Arctic did not sacrifice your precious CPU cooling performance for some rainbow unicorn power, or, or just an extremely small margin. But to make up for it, they returned it in quieter operations. Sure, it is also marginal, but still, the P12s ARGB are quieter than P12s. As a, as a big side note, back then when I finished the Arctic P12 ARGB and Bionics P120 ARGB review, we had a bet here in the studio what will happen next. Obviously, we were all on the side of a new liquid freezer, but I placed my money on the Bionics P120 ARGB because they perform better than the original P12s. Thank you, Arctic. But to see if I would have been right, I placed them on top of the liquid freezer and let them do the job. Unsurprisingly, they do perform better at 69 degrees C, but they are also quite a bit louder at full speed. So I do understand the decision to go with the P12s instead of the P120s, as they are quieter, perform not that much worse, but most importantly, they are way less expensive, allowing Arctic to almost keep the original pricing. And they actually did a pretty good job at it. Right now, the Liquid Freezer 360 ARGB is going for around 100 euros, which makes it a bit over 10 euros more expensive than the original one. And a normal P12 is going for around 5 bucks right now, where the P12 ARGB are going for around 11 to 12 euros a piece. So there you have the 10 euro price difference. Overall, the Liquid Freezer 360 ARGB is a very surprising product. It does not fall behind very far compared to the original one, yet it is able to operate at a quieter noise. Arctic did stick to their easy installation method by providing every connection right next to the water block. And do not forget that sick RGB. So choosing between the original Liquid Freezer and the new ARGB version boils down to a simple question. Do you favor RGB and quieter operation, or 1 degree C and 10 bucks? It's, it's basically that simple. And in both cases, we are talking about a 360 all-in-one, which costs around 100 euros, which is really, really not expensive looking at the performance that I bring to the table. So a really big yay for both of them. And on this particular one, it's a, a big yay for me, because despite my initial worries, Arctic did not create a worse product just to have that RGB badge on there. Essentially, they just concentrated on making a really good ARGB case fan, and then they slapped that one on the already good all-in-one, creating a good and quiet ARGB all-in-one. And I think that this no-corner-cutting method deserves some respect, so... Good job, Arctic. Okay, this should be it for the Liquid Freezer 2 360 ARGB and the P12 PVM 0DB ARGB fans. Yes, yes, many words. I will leave the manufacturer links and affiliate links down in the description below. But if you want to keep watching, have a look at the original Liquid Freezer 120 review over here or even the P12 ARGB 0DB review. Those are quite important to understand everything I was talking about in this video. 
Anyway, see you next time. Bye-bye.